Hello, art students. This is Ms. Hawkins. I want to talk to you today about Japanese cherry blossom. Um, this is a start of Japanese cherry blossom art that I'm going to show you how to do today. Um, there are some videos uh, that you can watch about Hokusai. He is the creator of this art and the Great Wave. Um, looking at some more Japanese art. Uh, this is another one by Hokusai. There. And here's some more uh, Japanese artwork. When you start to look at Japanese artwork, you'll see some things like the Japanese uh, writing. Um, this little one here is by Pizad. <clears throat> here's another typical Japanese artwork. In Asian art, you have the Japanese letters in, written vertically. Um, one of my students said today, lots of black squiggly lines. And you see a lot of times done in ink. Um, lots of times they have animals, uh, birds, and fish. Okay, so if you imagine, you know, think about Japan. It's surrounded by water off the coast of China. So, of course, fish is a big natural resource for the Japanese culture. Um, but I just want to show you very quickly how to do this Japanese cherry blossom tree. Um, I've also linked some videos about the Japanese cherry blossom festival at our nation's capital that they have in the spring. <clears throat> A beautiful time of year that you can catch um, there where there's thousands of cherry blossom trees in bloom. Okay, so you're going to have some plain white paper, black charcoal or chalk never mind my daughter Josie, go sit down. okay so we just want to use the charcoal and kind of squiggly lines like we saw okay just literally twisting across the page i'm just lightly holding charcoal and just hold it really lightly and twisting turning as you go now this is a branch okay it's not the whole tree as it may seem um, if you turn it that way, yeah, it looks more like a tree, but just kind of doing a branch from one side to the other. So if you imagine a branch coming off of a tree, it's thick at one side and then gets thinner as it goes out toward the little twigs at the end. Okay, so back here at the tree, which you don't see the tree, it's over here, it's thicker, yes. Okay, if you don't have charcoal, you could use black ink, you can use a sharpie, black sharpie, um, any black, black paint, uh, watercolor paint, paint would work well and you could actually uh, blow watercolor if you have a, a um, liquid watercolor and then take a straw and put your watercolor down and blow it in one direction, that might be kind of a cool way to do this. But you start in one direction, pull it from the branch, and the letter Y, you always use making trees. See, there's a, a Y. See the letter Y? Make little Ys at the end. See the letter Y? And another. Okay, so it's thick at one end, and it gets thinner as it moves out. Okay, so you, the tree would be over here, and here's your branch. So it's getting thinner and thinner and thinner. Okay, and so you just keep going until you have something more like this. Okay, so see how it's thick here, and then it gradually gets to the little bitty ends. You've got the little twigs that come from the big branch, and gradually gets smaller until it's almost nothing. Okay, and then you can take either a Q-tip, which we use a lot, or I like to use for this the end of a brand new pencil, the eraser, and I've already started on this one, adding my cherry blossoms, okay, so if you have some pink, bright pink, you can mix it up if you want, use some oil, uh, different shades of pink, and then using the end of a, a new eraser, okay, and then you take it and make five dots in a circle, okay, I have um, five petals that are at a bloom, four, five. 
Okay, and it doesn't have to be exactly at the end of the branch. Okay, spread them out. It doesn't even have to be connected. To be honest with you. Okay, as you imagine, you see these blossoms. They're just a big abundance of these beautiful Japanese cherry blossom trees. Early in the spring, they start to bloom. One of the first trees that starts to bloom. Carolina redbud, which is one of my favorites, and the Japanese cherry blossom tree. I noticed I didn't put that on any branch. It's just floating, and that's okay. All right. Of course, you can put some on branches, but I choose to just kind of let them float and put lots of them. Remember to have five, five in a circle to make your cherry blossom. Okay, have fun with it. Have recreating. Bye guys. Yeah.